Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is teacher Hiba with you and inshallah in this video we will start with our final unit which is unit 12. And in unit 12 inshallah we will start as usual with the reading comprehension. So let's say bismillah and let's see our outcomes that we inshallah will uh, achieve at the end of this video. First, we are expected to recognize a new vocabulary because we have a new text. Uh, we will get introduced to more than one uh, new vocabulary. We will know what do they mean, either from an example, from a picture, or from the context itself. We will read an article about weird kinds of food using different techniques of reading. And we have so many kinds of uh, techniques for the reading a skill which is for example skimming scanning intensive and extensive reading and as you as you can remember we uh, we uh, said most of them what is scanning what is skimming three we will answer a related worksheet to, uh, to assess the students comprehension of the text and it is also for you to assess if you if you understood the text or not you uh, are going to be uh, asked to answer some questions that are, that are related to the text. So let's move to our book. We are going to move to our cover page. Here, the cover page. And let's try to guess what is our, what is the title of our unit. The title of our unit is Fit for Life. Fit for Life. And try to guess how it is related to the picture. So what does it mean, Fit for Life? Maybe it's the way that we live uh, that help us to, uh, to become fit for our living, to our uh, style of life. Maybe the kind of sport that we play, does it keep us keep us fit for our life maybe the food that we eat the different kinds of food the different traditions of food around the world this is what can make make us fit for our life so fit for life maybe sport food uh, style of life so how is it related to the picture here always as usual we always try to connect the title of the unit with the cover page, with each picture, picture that we are having in the unit, in order to try or to find the connection al Rabat al Ajib. Let's try to find it out in here. So, here we have a group of people. They are doing a sport. What kind of sport they are doing? We will just, in a minute, we will guess what kind of sport. Where are they? The setting or the, the scene? Where are they? The, the place? So, if you can read the caption that is written here, tourists taking yoga class in the Himalayas, Nepal. So who are they? They are tourists. What are they doing? They are having or taking a yoga class. What is the place they are at the Himalayas? And as you can notice, it's maybe in the air the morning or the middle of the day because we have uh, some light here. So. What is the special thing here in the Himalayas? Why are they taking this uh, class of yoga in the Himalayas? Because I guess maybe from my own point of view, the kind of air, the, the, the degree or the percentage of oxygen is really rich there. Once you go to that mountain, there are no, there is no pollution there. Uh, so things that the air is really pure, they can have really fresh air into their lungs while they are taking yoga. And what is the benefit of yoga? As you, as you all know, it makes us more relaxed. So relaxation, yoga, uh, practicing kind of sport. Here they have a place which helps them to, to breathe fresh air. So all of this, all of the, the things that we have here, all of these elements, they make the title fit for life. They make us fit for our life. They are suitable things if you want to live a healthy life. And maybe this 
these elements or this style for some people it fits their life but for other people it doesn't fit their life this style doesn't fit their life and for others yes it fits their life <coughs> طيب, what, are th what are the other things that can fit your life or fits for your life maybe the kind of food that we are eating so this is the thing that we will discover inshallah in our new exciting unit so i just want you to uh, be optimistic have fun while you are having this beautiful unit we chose it because it's really fun gives you and improve um, uh, provides you with many exotic information about things around the world yes it is about food it is about sport it is about the style of living in here so we will have a very exciting unit inshallah okay let's move to our reading comprehension so before we start as usual what do we have we have the word focus we will start with it because i want you to get the meaning of these vocabulary because we will read the text and while we are reading the text we will come across them so i want you to know them in prior so once we get to them you will know what do they mean you will be provided with a word list with a word list here with the english definition with an example and with the arabic meaning some of the words i left the example for you in order for you to find out an example and i wrote the arabic meaning some of them i switched things so i wrote an example and i left the arabic meaning so you can uh, write your own definition so let's read the words that we have we have the word treat treat so i want here <clears throat> yes so we have treat what does it mean treat means a delicacy special kind of food a delicacy a special kind of food so what's the meaning of delicacy if you want to understand the meaning of treat let's go to our word list what's the meaning of delicacy which is a noun it's a delicious food that is expensive or rare expensive means غالي. rare معناها نادر. so what does it mean then treat معناها طعام شهي وغالي الثمن okay this is the meaning of treat the second word which is termite mound termite mound so what we have a compound now what is the meaning of termite if you want to understand the meaning of termite this is a termite what is it what can you see in this picture in here yes it's a kind of ant it's a kind of ant so is it a normal ant is it a normal ant that we that we can uh, see in this picture no it is a different kind of ant it is a white ant that uh, especially um yani it goes especially for wood okay تتغذى على الخشب على نشاط الخشب هاي النمل الابيض هو kind of يعني مؤذي somehow so we uh, should take care of ourselves if we uh, see a white ant so this is called what it is called a termite termite mound mound يعني زي كأنها تلة أو نست أو خلية so what does it mean a structure or nest created by termites small what are they what are the termites they are small insects that live in organized groups like ants إذن termite mound هي الخلية النمل الأبيض أو العش تبعها هي خلية ما بنحكي عنها عش خلية so it's created by termites هاي الخلية مصنوعة من من النمل الأبيض شو هو الترمايت small insect بيعيش ب organized groups بيعيش ب بيعيش بخلايا منتظمة يعيش بخلايا منتظمة so if we go back to our uh, word list معناها uh, نمل أبيض so an example termites have destroyed the wooden doors in his house خربت وقضت ودمرت 
الأبواب الخشبية فهي تتغذى على الأخشاب نوعا ما This is termite, termite mounds What's the meaning of squirm? Squirm It means to move with a wriggling motion to move with a wriggling motion wriggling okay the w here at the beginning it is a silent letter a silent sound a silent sound we don't pronounce it while we are breathing so to move with a wriggling motion عشان نفهم معناها لازم نفهم شو معنى wriggling to wriggle is to twist and turn يتلوى okay بيتلوى بيتعرج so to move with a wriggling motion اللي هي يتحرك ب آه يعني بيتلوى هذا الشيء هسه رح نعرف وين رح نستخدمها آه بالنص لما نقرا النص رح نمر على كلمه سبيرم معناها يتلوى او يتعرج يتلوى او يتعرج فهم الثنتين بيعطوني تقريبا نفس المعنى زي كانهم synonyms for each other abundant what's the meaning of abundant abundant means Existing in large numbers or amount. معناها كثير متوافر موجود بكثرة متواجد بكثرة. Existing in large numbers or amounts. Pulp. What is pulp? Let's try to figure out what is the meaning of pulp here. Sorry. Pulp. This is a pulp. What is it? Once we have a mango, inside of the mango, the mango fruit, we have a pulp, which we make juice out of it. So, a pulp means a lub. Lub, mumkin kun lub bil fawake, lub bil khudrawat. It's pulp. So, let's try to find it here. What is the meaning of pulp? It's a noun. It's the soft material containing a lot of water. And here, a lub. Good. Now, the final word is tingle. What's the meaning of tingle? To create a slightly painful sensation. شعور بوخز أو ألم. To create a slightly painful sensation. الشعور بوخز أو ألم بسيط. We will know what is the thing that makes any person feels that, يعني, tingle. شو الشيء اللي بيخليك تشعر بـ this slight painful sensation. So, tingle. To create slightly painful sensation, يشعر بوخز خفيف أو ألم خفيف. So these are the words that are found in our uh, text. We will find them, إن شاء الله, inside of our text. Let's start with exercise A. And exercise A tells us which of these pictures that you can see here that we can eat, and why don't we eat certain food. Let's read them, all of them, and then while I am reading, try to think which of these things that you can eat and which of them you cannot eat and why. So we have blue cheese, we have sea urchins, sea urchins, we have ants, or ants yummy, mm. oysters, <coughs> century egg, this is the weirdest thing that I have ever seen. Century egg, and you will know what is it. I found you uh, some videos. I provided you with them. We will see them. Exotic fruit, beans, and all of us know uh, knows what is uh, what are the beans. Seaweed, scorpions, and snail. Okay, the blue cheese, the 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 هي هاي البلو تشيز هي بيكون عليها زي العفن ف يعني do you expect yourself to eat blue cheese and by the way it's really expensive it's not it's not cheap so do you expect yourself to eat blue cheese personally no I wouldn't because I I don't feel that I would be courageous enough to, to eat العفن اللي على الجبنة I don't think so sea urchins قنفد البحر would you expect yourself to eat from this? So just keep the answer for you. Just think about it. Can you, are you courageous enough to to um, experience the, the the eating? I mean, eating different kinds of food. Ants. Would you ever eat ants? Chinese 
Chinese would eat anything. Japanese, um, these countries, Asian countries, they can, they can eat anything, everywhere, any time. Oysters, uh, the oysters, اللي هو ال uh, oysters. Do you, uh, يعني do you expect yourself to eat oysters? I don't think so. Anything, anything in Mahar, anything from from the the sea other than fish or shrimps, I can't eat them. Century egg. Now the 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 weirdest thing about century egg is that it's biled normally eggs, but why is it century egg? Because they make it approximately in tins or in mold protected. يعني مواد حافظة معينة بيحطوه جواها وبيخلوه for for maybe a hundred days لمية يوم تقريبا بهي بتمروا بهاي المادة وبعد مية يوم <coughs> we can see the century egg and it is really يعني strange I provided you in the powerpoint slides with a link please go to this video and see how can they make the century egg And do you expect yourself to eat from it or not? Exotic fruit, um, يعني ال الفواكه الاستوائية الأنواع الغريبة. We will know one of them inside of our text, إن شاء الله. The beans, the broccoliات. I guess all of us eat beans because يعني they are delicious. They are not disgusting. They are not gross to eat. The taste of them are is acceptable. Seaweeds. Or the seaweed, اللي هي الحشائش ال أو الأعشاب البحرية. Scorpions, yummy scorpions. Do you eat scorpions? عقارب. طب if we see it, أصلا يعني we will freak out. What about seeing the scorpions in on a dish and you are eating them? It's really strange. Snail. You know what is the snail? Do you expect yourself to eat snails? So let's see. All of these things, okay, they are can be eaten, but why don't we eat certain foods because of our culture, religion, or how we are uh, we were brought up? كيف إحنا نشيلنا كيف تربينا. Also, the appearance, شكلها, the color, the smell of certain foods may put may put us off eating them. Put us off eating them. عنا هنا. Phrasal verb put us off eating something يعني بيبعدنا إن نأكل بعض الأنواع ممكن يكون اللون الرائحة رح نتعرف على نوع من الفواكه الرائحة تبعته جدا سيئة لكن الطعم تبعه لذيذ فبعض الأشخاص رح يتجنبوا أو يتحاشوا يأكلوا بعض الفواكه أو الفود because of its smell الشكل مثلا عندنا السنيل أو السكوربين إحنا أصلا من خاف منهم how can we expect ourselves to eat them So these are many different things. Let's go here to our uh, to our slideshow, and we have here. Type. Let's escape this, and we have certain foods. As you can all see in here, we have scorpions, and we saw them. We have yes, the center اللي هو البيض المخلل أو ال بكون له فترة طويلة جدا. I provided you with this video link. Please go and go and see it, watch it. It's really interesting. We have the durian fruit. نوع من الفواكه جديد اكتشفوا. It's called the durian fruit, and this also is a video. How do they eat it? كيف the reaction for people once they smell how once they smell this the smell of this uh. Of this fruit, it's really disgusting, nasty, nasty smell. بيهرب الناس منها. لكن the pulp inside, the look تبعها, it's really tasty. It's delicious. In the text, we will know what are the description for this, the for its taste. People can eat worms. Didan, what do you think? Is it delicious? Let's try some. Spiders. Oh. Spiders, العناكب. Would you imagine yourself eating spiders? We have also something called fugu fish. It's really poisonous, and the chefs they need seven years 
of experiencing and of training how to cook it because it's really poisonous مش عارفه what is the thing what is the the دافع and what is the thing that makes people so urgent to eat such kind of food we have something called manioc manioc is a kind of root جذر لنبته and it's also somehow poisonous these two are poisonous this is the similarity between them and it needs really a good practice in order to know how to cook it now this person he is a main character in our text we will know who is he his name is Wade Davis Wade Davis and I provided you with the link about his biography who is he and where where does he work so let's go directly to our book to start explaining our text. So I provided you with uh, an audio for the text. Go listen for it as much as you can. And inshallah, once you listen to it, things will be easier for you. In this video, we will describe, we will discuss uh, uh, the text generally or some of the paragraphs and in the other video we will continue and we will do the exercises together so here we have far out food what does it mean far out food let's say far out away from us maybe away from our traditions what is this picture what can you see <clears throat> and you also, I know that some of the pictures yani, makes makes you gross uh, uh, about the, the kinds of things that the weird things these are cockroaches cockroaches for sale in a market point I'm sorry to see this and to let you see this but this is yes people eat people eat the, these things we have here the nest uh, or the mount termite mound. They are also um, can be sold in the market for people to eat. Yes. We have here the other picture. It's the fugu fish in a net. It's in Japan. Fugu is the most poisonous fish in the world. And we have here which is the durian fruit so let's go directly to our first paragraph and let's try to see now the first paragraph is the introduction always once you see the first paragraph it's always the introduction now what do uh, this introduction talks about for the sake of their health Many people stick to a balanced diet. Most of us stick to a, to a balanced diet in order to keep your body fit. Somehow, we eat vegetables, fruit, vegetables, and low-fat protein things while reducing their intake of sugar. What's the meaning of intake? The things that we consume. المواد المستهلكة بنخفف من sugar with salt. لأنه هذول two things, they are really dangerous things for our body. Uh, they remain, however, quite conservative, uh, conservative in their choices. Conservative, من ضمن traditional, من ضمن شوية متشددين. كيف نستخدم sugar ونستخدم salt وبعض المواد اللي ممكن تضر أجسامنا. فلازم نكون somehow conservative أو for our choices. إذا إحنا كنا conservative, conservative about our choices كنا نختار صح لكن this thing it's not the way for Wade Davis Who is he? We will know who is he He will eat just about anything Now this is Wade <coughs> This is Wade Davis This is Wade Davis he is a man who works with National Geographic and uh, I provided you with about his bi biography. He is what? <clears throat> he is a cultural anthropologist. 
a cultural anthropologist. And what does it mean, anthropologist? He is the one who studies the behavior of groups around the world of people in specific environments. إذن علم الإنسان وعلم ثقافات الإنسان in anthropology. And he works with national geographic. So he went around the world. He saw many bizarre things. And he really and literally can eat anything that he can see. <clears throat> Now, this statement, it is... Uh, a thesis statement that introduces us to everything in this text بتعلمنا شو احنا رح ناخذ شو رح نتعلم شو الموضوع اللي رح نتناقش فيه خلال الدرس كامل وهو عن شخصية ديفيس آه ديفيس ويد ديفيس وشو عم بعمل شو الأشياء اللي شافها وشو هي الأطعمة الغريبة اللي شافها بالعالم He is a national geography explorer and anthropologist. Is used to meeting people of other cultures. إذن هو بيشوف العالم الثقافات المختلفة حتى طعامهم. So it is an important part of the work because by joining in, he shows respect for those he meets. طبعا لازم يحترم جميع الثقافات اللي بيشوفها. So once when he was exploring Colombia, so the first country that we are going to discuss is Colombia. For National Geographic, he hiked deep into the rainforest. راح على الغابات الماطرة, where he met the local people, and they offered him a treat. So what حكينا? What's the meaning of treat? It's a delicacy. A special kind of food. طبعا هذا النوع من الأكل كان عندهم يعني هو نوع فاخر جدا من الأكل. شو هو? What is it? Insects from a fresh termite mound. تذكر الصورة اللي شفناها بالأعلى صورة ال ال النمل الميت مجموعات النمل الميت فهاي عندهم كانت صحن فاخر جدا. Oh, they gave it to him. فا Davis, what did he do? He picked up a bug. The size was his of his fingertip. مسك حشرة بحجم آه يعني طرف الاصبع و popped it into his mouth حطها بسرعة بتمه popped it ايش يعني pop رماها بسرعة بتمه please don't crawl هو بيحكي بحاله لما لحاله بيحكي لهاي الانسان don't crawl down my throat ما تصيري تلعبي بحلقي he thought not until he bit down on it uh, on it Did it stop squirming on his tongue? صارت شو يعني squirming? To move with a wriggling motion. صارت تتحرك وتلعب بتمو تتلوى بتمو. كيف حس? بلعها على طول. Then he swallowed it. He described it as crunchy and tasting of lemon and bacon. طعمها زي اللمن والبيكن. And it was crunchy. This is the first experience that he had, which was in Colombia, and the treat was an insect. Oh, sorry, insect from a fresh termite mound. In Mexico, what was his experience in Mexico? You can buy now in Mexico. He saw some people who uh, will buy a grasshoppers, buy the bag, and in Thailand because snack on deep fried water bugs. طيب what is the grasshoppers الجنادب كيف بيشتروها بيشتروها بالبعز and in Thailand people snack on deep fried water bugs ال water bugs اللي هي الحشرات ال ال بتشبه الصراصير بيشتروها ب بتسلوا عليها it's like a snack مقلية بتكون ب Thailand can you imagine how does it feel yes I can Not only are these creepy crawlies, كل هاي الحشرات بنحكي عنها بنوصفها كأنها creepy crawlies, tasty, لكنها كمان it's really beneficial. ليش? Because it's a source of a protein. تخيلوا هي غنية بالبروتين. They are beneficial for other reasons too. Termites, اللي حكينا عنهم اللي بيشبهوا النمل, are rich in magnesium. Water bugs contain iron and grasshoppers and جنادب are low in fat. تمام؟ فيعني بنشجعكم eat eat them they are good. Bugs have another advantage. Okay, for each human on earth, these there are hundreds of millions of insects. في عنا كثير من ال 
الحشرات اللي بتكون غنية بال بالمواد المعدنية ولا تفكروا إنه إحنا بالسناكس اللي إحنا بناكلها ما بيكون فيها نوع ما داخل فيها الحشرات لأنه بيحكي لنا rarely are you for from a potential snack تخيلين حالكم أنتم بعاد عنه no even if you would rather skip the insects course you can't avoid eating insects ليش لأنه the processed food الطعام المصنع والمعلب like peanut butter هسا الناس اللي تحب الشوكولاتة بالبينات بتر رح يلطموا ليه؟ they will really cry because it contain bits of insects congratulations you are eating insects without knowing happy you are in United States an average person الشخص العادي unknowingly بدون معرفته بيستهلك about 500 grams of insects annually تمام؟ ف be careful about the processed food because it's not easy to eat processed food Maybe bugs don't make your mouth water. شو هم ال expression معناه water? Make your mouth water. كأنه يعني يسي ي بيصير يسي للعاب من الفم. يعني كيف أنت لما تشوف طعام شهي delicious food it's really good وريحته بتجنن بيصير الواحد يبلع بريقه. Yeah. Now the bugs doesn't make this, but fruit is good. لما تشوف الفواكه it's really good. It makes your mouth water. You are. You might think that until you get a whiff of the durian fruit from southern Southeast Asia, بس تخيلوا نفحة نفحة من ريحة السمل تبعت durian fruit. You can't imagine it. You can't imagine the smell because it's really, really disgusting. It's really nasty smell, and people run away from from it. But once you eat it, it's gonna be delicious. So bad. Is it's a smell that it puts many people off. تبعد الناس عنها. It looks like a bowling. كيف شكلها? It's like a bowling ball. زي كرة البولينج. Covered in spikes. شو يلف the spikes? ال ال the spike اللي هي أطرافها حادة جدا. So you need a sharp knife and thick gloves. بدك سكينة حادة و thick gloves قفازات سميكة to cut it open. Now others describe it as a mixture. كيف طعمها ها? What does it taste? It's a mixture of strawberry, farola, and garlic, butum. Like insects, urine is both abundant. It's very available with many numbers, يعني بمني amounts. Sorry, and good for the health. So, so what's the meaning of abundant? Existing in large numbers or amounts. Not only it is high in fiber, بالإيش هو الفايبر؟ الفايبر الألياف. But it is it's packed with carbohydrates for an energy boost as well. فهي مليئة بالكربوهيدرات اللي بتدعمك boost معناها to support you, to provide you with energy. So let's see here the the last two paragraphs that we have. It's the fugu fish, which is in Japan, and uh, uh, another thing that we will see what is it. Now, although durian smells nasty, it is harmless. There is no poison in it. But there are other foods that are what? That are. So let's continue. So uh, it's not harmful, it's not poisonous, but there are things. We have two, as I showed you in the slideshow just two, uh, a couple of minutes ago, we have two things that are really poisonous. What are they? We have something called manioc, for example, and we have the fugu fish. The manioc, what is it? A bitter root. What's the meaning of bitter? Bitter manaha mur. Bitter root that... It grows in the Americas, the America الجنوبية والشمالية, Asia, Africa. Which what? This is the important thing. It it needs careful preparation to turn it into a safe meal. تحتاج تحضير جيد جدا إنه تحولها إلى a safe food meal. In the Amazon, this important job falls to. مسند إلى مين؟ falls to 
falls to musnad ila. So it is their responsibility. If a job falls to somebody, so it is it's their responsibility to do it. For women of the Cubo people, it involves grating the giant root by hand. What's the meaning of grating? Let's see what does it mean, grating, from our word list to great. Okay, great. We have it here. Great to cut into very small pieces using a tool with a rough surface. إذن بقطعوها إلى أجزاء صغيرة جدا because it's really tough. Um, it's صعب جدا وقاسي جدا وفرجتكم إياها. This is the ma. This is the manioc. This is it. شايفينها قاسية. It needs really a powerful person to do it. لكنها حرام. It's for women. This is the strange thing. It is for women. So then washing it again and again. بغسلوها أكثر من مرة. When it's been washed through thoroughly, the pulp is squeezed. اللب اللي جواها بينعصر squeezed. In an enormous strainer, enormous مصفاه كبيرة جدا, which looks like a snake with its mouth open. هنا كأنها إيش كأنه أفعى منفتحها ومنطلع التم تبع فهنا هنا صورة تشبيهية طريقة تنظيفها وطريقة طبخها كيف إنه هم عم بقشروها بقطعوها وبيطلعوا اللب اللي جواها بيصيروا أكثر من مرة الطريقة هاي كأنها بشبوها كأنها سنيك وإحنا عم نحاول نطلع نحاول نفتح تمها ونطلع المادة اللي جواها نحاول نطلع السم اللي جواها فعنا هير it's a, a, a picture or we have تشبيه now like venom the poisonous juice drips out of the strainer venom poison كأنها سم السم تبعها العصير تبعها السم بصير ينقط من drips out of the strainer بصير ينقط من هذه النصفة what is left makes a tasty paste. بيطلع لنا عصير أو بيطلع لنا paste اللي هي طعام مهروس الهريس that is safe to eat and used in baking. بيستخدمو بال baking بالخبز. The final thing that we have is the fugu fish. It's another poisonous. It is the very popular with the Japanese diners. It is known as fugu. This dish is prepared from a chubby fish. Chubby, يعني مليانة ناصحة. Called a puffer, a puffer fish, or its relative, the pork porcupine fish. Porcupine fish. Just a pinch of the poison from these fish can kill thirty adults. تخيلوا. بس شوية pinch of the poison من هاي السمك تقضي على ثلاثين إنسان بالغ. Japanese chef. كم السنوات اللي بتدربوا فيها they are trained after long of seven years do they become experts even so وحتى بعد ذلك sometimes when they prepare fugu a tiny amount of poison remains it is usually not enough to be fatal but it can make your tongue tingle إذا لا ما بتكون الكمية قاتلة لكنها بتخلي لسانك شو مال شو تحس فيه then what does make your tongue tingle? What does it make to a slightly painful sensation? اللي هي eating a small amount, a tiny amount of the fugu fish اللي بيكون نصبايل فيها some poisonous or poisonous remains. So بالنهاية بعد كل هاي الأنواع من الطعام that Davis tried, what does he wish? He wishes people would be more adventurous about the trying in new foods. كونوا شجاعين ومغامرين أكثر بتناول الطعام. If another human being can eat it, eat something, you can too. He says. فالاقتباس الأخير في حكي ديفيس بحكي لنا إذا كان في شخص آخر على هذا الكوكب يستطيع أكل طعام معين فأنت بتستطيع كذلك. فكونوا courageous, كون adventurous and try. These kinds of food. So we have introduced in this text four termites. We have the termite nouns. We have in Mexico we have learned deep deep fried water bug bugs. 
we have the fugu fish, we have the durian fruit, and many other things. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, exciting text, exciting article. Now, the audio you will see it, in, you will listen to it, inshallah, in a separate video. And by God's will, tomorrow we will uh, do the other exercises. We here have blanks. أنا ما علقت عليهم لأنه راح نكملهم إن شاء الله بالفيديو القادم. بالفيديو القادم إذا الله أحيانا بإذن الله تعالى. So إن شاء الله in the upcoming video we will finish uh, the blanks in here, which is will be exercise C, D, and E. بإذن الله تعالى. I hope that you enjoyed it. Go back to the presentation of the PowerPoint. There are so many, um, uh, there are so many links that I would like uh, you will uh, open them and enjoy watching them. And have a great day. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Thank you.